All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to talk about the Eric Gordon situation. Now, before we get into the video, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit that sub button. I also have a Houston Rockets daily channel down in the description. Also, my Twitch is down in the description. I've streamed every single day for quite some time now, so that made it sound really long. A couple days. I've streamed a couple days every single night, keeping it up tonight, so check that link in the description. I want to talk about Eric Gordon today. I made a video about this on the second channel a couple of weeks ago. Basically, this dude's contract is four years, $75 million. It's a lot of money, man. He's number 16th in rank in the shooting guard position for price. Now, I like Eric Gordon's contract. I've switched my thinking of Eric Gordon, I've reversed it after his abysmal 14.4 points per game season, not this year, but the last season where he shot 32% from three. He was injured for a decent chunk of it, much like this season. I don't like, I like Eric Gordon for his play. He's 32, first of all. I liked Eric Gordon for his play. I think that's a better word. I'm, I'm way past the Eric Gordon train it's really hard for me to just fathom paying a 32-year-old anybody who's coming off the bench $16 million. Like, it, I just don't, it doesn't sit well. The good news is his contract is about 20 a year, right? So this last year he made $16 million. Last or Next year he'll make $18 million. Year after that, 19 Year after that, 21 I don't want to be paying... Eric Gordon, $21 million at 35. I think it's safe to say that that's a really, really big risk. Teams try and they tend to successfully shy away from paying 30 somethings anywhere near the $20 million range. So props to Eric Gordon for getting that because, I mean, that's no small feat. He's a good, solid player on the year. This year, he averaged just under 18 points per game. Wasn't shooting the ball particularly well, but, I mean, this season was a whole headache for the Houston Rockets. He still shot 33% from three, 1% bump from last season. It's more Eric Gordon. First off, I keep saying this in my videos. I think they're going to ship house because of the new GM, new management. When you have that typically not really, like, Maybe fire sale isn't the best word, but there tends to be an evaluation you're followed by just kind of dumping most people who were on the team before, you know, which means they were on the team before with the old GM. So in this case, it's the Harden era and you have Eric Gordon being one of the few guys left and all the other guys, you know, Daniel House, I expect Daniel House to be traded in the offseason as well. The reason Eric Gordon's contract is so good is it's because if a team were to trade a high salary, good player, I mean, he's got 20 mil. That's a good salary. Eric Gordon is a great salary filler who can still compete at a high level. 17.8 points per game at 32 years old. That's pretty solid. But me personally... I was way past Eric Gordon last season. I mean, Eric Gordon from two years ago was enough to say like, yeah, I mean, an injury, he's starting to get a little injury prone, 16 at least a year. It's only going up. I mean, until he's 35, it's, uh, you know, I, I like Eric Gordon. I like everything he did. It's, it's the same situation with PJ Tucker. It just hasn't had, it just hasn't gotten to that level yet. That's how I see the Eric Gordon situation is, you're going to have another P.J. Tucker at 35. You're going to be like, why the hell is Eric Gordon on our team? Why did we pay him 16 mil? That's exactly what I think will happen at 35 for Eric Gordon. I mean, how long does – not everybody's knees can make it that long. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Eric Gordon comes out next year and is just trash because he's barely played the last two years. He's just been injured. That's really it for today, man. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about Eric Gordon. The way I see it is this Rockets team, we're in a good spot. They have a ton of salary and you've got a ton of young players. Next year, you'll see you'll see with this draft, you'll see with this draft. I mean, three of the four guys are guards. And so just going off odds, if they were to get another guard, it already was a complicated guard situation with John Wall, Eric Gordon, KPJ. I mean... 
I would trade John Wall right now if I knew it would help KPJ's progression. I mean, there's no reason to have a 30, 31 year old making 44, 46 million dollars if it's hurting the 20 year old superstar stud you have on the bench. So thankfully they, you know, played together. They looked uh, fine. I mean, it's kind of hard to judge the Rocket season just in general, but KPJ and John Wall seem to work just fine. So Eric Gordon only complicates it all. I know he comes off the bench, but maybe not this season. If you still, if, if you're not on board for trading Eric Gordon, maybe it's just because it's this season, and you, you know, it's maybe there isn't necessarily a rush to trade Eric Gordon because he has this pretty solid tradable contract. The Rockets are in a bit of a, you know, what happens next, but. I'm just saying, if you go out, you get Cade Cunningham, you get Jalen Suggs, it was already a complicated guard situation, which just got even more complicated. So that's really it for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button. I do this every single day. I know you guys would like it. We got a bunch of Rockets content coming out all off season, I'm sure, with all the moves they hopefully will be making. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, man.